Welcome one and all travelers. I'm Travis and we are in Radiator Springs overlooking Ornament Valley. We're here to schmooze our sponsor Dynaco, which is your best gasoline ever, your dyno fuel to help you win a piston cup. Yo, Travis, my guy. Wait, what's that? This isn't cars. We're just in Monument Valley in Utah. Oh, we're just in Monument Valley in Utah. All right, guys, all jokes aside, I am here today with a quick video on some of the most frequently asked questions about Monument Valley. I'm going to be reporting today from the North Window, which is one of my favorite viewpoints in the Tribal Park, which is where we are at right now. Now, the Tribal Park is in two states. It is in Utah and Arizona. So you will cross in and out of the state line a few times while you're here. Uh, we're going to go over a quick couple questions that I see a lot, and I'm going to answer them for you. The first question is, is it worth it? I saw someone ask online, is it worth it? Should we just maybe, you know, go across the main highway 163, see it from the road and move on? Yes, it is worth it to come in the park. You cannot see the most infamous viewpoint from the road. When we came in 2020, the park was closed and we thought, eh, we'll just see it from the road, right? No, you cannot see that famous view from the road. You can't see John Ford Point, this north window. There's a lot of stuff that you cannot see if you're not in the park. So it definitely is worth it to come in. You can only see so much from the road. It is very worth it to come in here and check the park out. Also, a lot of people ask, is there hotels? Yes, there is hotels. There's three main hotels that you might stay at here. You do have Goulding's Lodge, which is outside of the park and is gonna have a lot of views from your porches. Then there is going to be the View Hotel, which is in the park and has actual view of that main scene that everybody knows right here in the park. And you also have cabins. You can stay in the cabins, they're called the View Cabins and you'll have a view sun at sunset to sun up overnight, take star pictures, whatever you like, you will be here for that. They are pretty pricey. I believe the Gouldings and the View Hotel start around that 200 mark. So just be prepared. It might cost a little bit more during the summer. It does get booked in advance. So that is fair warning. Alrighty, another question that I frequently see, is there a gas station? Yes, there is a gas station here in the valley. It is right in front of Goulding's. You can get gas there and you are all set. You don't have to fill up in Cayenta if you're worried or Mexican hat or whatever direction you're coming from. There is gas station, a gas station here in the valley. Not as good as Dynaco, but don't worry. Alrighty, the next question is, is there restaurants? Yes, the View Hotel has a restaurant. The gas station actually has a quick serve burgers and other things in there. And you also do have a restaurant at Goulding's. So you've got plenty of restaurant options. There's even a little mom and pop shop up in Mexican Hat if you're coming that way. So don't worry, you will have something to eat. Another big question is, is there a grocery store? Actually, yes, there is a grocery store over here by Goulding's again, by the gas station. You have a grocery store. It carries most of everything you might need. So if you need ice, you need firewood, regular groceries. Most of that stuff is resources that are here for the people that live here, but those resources are here for you as well. So don't worry, you will be able to have everything you need while you're staying here in Monument Valley. Now, a lot of people ask how long is the loop and how much time should you allot? So the loop is about 16 to 17 miles and it goes all the way around. You will get a map. It has all the famous spots. You got John Ford Point, the totem pole, the three sisters, this one right here, which is the North Window Overlook, which is one of my absolute favorites. You just got all kinds of stuff. Like I said, it is worth coming into the park to check it out and see. All right, guys, something else I did want to mention real quick. I'm over here at the main entrance, as you can see, but I did want to say there's a lot of questions. Are there bathrooms throughout the park? There are porter potties scattered around the park, so no worries. Also, if you want to know how much it is to get in, it is $8 a person, so keep that in mind. Now, we are two people and an infant. Infant did not get charged, so it was $16 for these two people. So it'll be $8 a person when you enter the park. Another question I do frequently see asked is, is there cell phone signal? I have Verizon and cell phone signal is still pretty sketchy. There is a cell tower at the visitor center and you can get some signal there, able to get some text out, maybe some photos, but you're not gonna have major signal anywhere here in the valley. Some spots it's gonna be sketchy, if none at all. So you're not gonna have a lot of cell service. So just be aware of that while you're here. Be prepared to go off grid. Honestly, if you're on vacation, just send the photos to the friends when you get back. You wanna come in here, you wanna soak it up. 
and just really enjoy the views. Another question I've seen before is, what is there to do while you're there? Well, there's all kinds of private tours that you can book through Gouldings. You book it with the Navajo directly. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can do. The biggest thing you're doing here is appreciating nature. Um, the person that made the comment was wondering if there's like any activities or things like that. And pretty much everyone's response was what I'm telling you is, it's really just a place to drive around, go to different viewpoints and see nature. The different viewpoints are very different. You can see the monuments in one spot and then you can go to a different spot and give you a whole new perspective. So it's definitely worth it to take the full loop and just see everything there is to see. It's about taking in nature, enjoying the wild west. I mean, Monument Valley, it's literally the gateway to the wild west. So. Definitely a lot of fun to be here, featured in many, many movies. Now another question I saw, and I don't know all of the information on this, however I did see that somebody asked, is anyone ever been onto the top of one of these? Very unlikely. The monuments are very sacred to the Navajo. I know Clint Eastwood did go to the top of the totem pole. I think after that they probably didn't want that happening anymore. So just letting you know. but. Back to the Future 3 was filmed here, which is one of my favorites. Marty and Doc are trying to get that DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour in front of the Buttes over here with the horses. Didn't work out so well. They had to use the train. Of course, a lot of John Ford. I'm sorry, John Ford was the director that made John Ford Point famous, but a lot of John Wayne movies. Nah, all Westerns are filmed here. This is one of the most infamous looking Western things ever. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up. Some of the major questions so that's what there is to know if there's any other questions leave them in the comment section below appreciate you taking the time to check in and watch travels with travis subscribe for more in the future we do appreciate it join me on my adventures with my family we're currently living in tucson arizona got all kinds of cool stuff coming up now if you're here in monument valley and you want a secret place to camp to secretly save money and spend nothing and pitch a tent an rv whatever you want Click on this video right here to see a secret camping spot just 20 miles up from here to save you those big hotel bills. This is Travels with Travis. We'll see you next time.